where'd Mike go? We went to get our bus pass <laughs> that we bought for today. <laughs> the bus comes in about one minute, so. Yeah. It's gonna be tight. If he's not back, we're gonna just stall big time getting the strollers onto the bus. We're just gonna be like, oh, I, it's it's not it's not going. Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, and we are in Rome, having a lot of fun. We are about to go on a fun ancient Rome tour with Rome for Kids, and I'm really excited about it because, first of all, I love going on tours, but with the kids, it's kind of hard because you never know if they're gonna like it or not. These tours are supposed to be catered towards the kids, but they still answer all of the adult questions that we have. And so yeah, it's gonna be the best of both worlds. So far, it's a beautiful morning. We're getting up bright and early, trying to beat the lines, trying to beat the sunshine. We're excited. One interesting thing about this Europe trip that we're doing is every single child of ours has gotten like a rash, a crazy rash. Not crazy, it's more of just like spots, like red spots. Did you finger out again now? Hi. <laughs> Yay! Mike made it back in time. No stalling necessary. Since I left, you stood the test of time like a beater. It got too far, and I will always linger. You went away to feel the wind get a better. Good morning. Buongiorno, buongiorno. <laughs> and you are? Piper. Piper. Good morning. Can I have your hand? We shake hands. Generally, we hug and kiss, but we don't. We'll do that later. <laughs> well, I heard that you've seen a lot of places all over already. Oh. We saw the Eiffel Tower. We went all the way up to the Did you like the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> to have bigger palaces for himself. And you know what he did? He set fire to the city. Weapons and armor and so on. Yes? Do you think they had roosters and hens? No. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe? And butterflies? No. <laughs> no. Not a butterfly garden. No. There's no flowers. And tigers? Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. The northern, the northern side of the Colosseum, and it's like the prime seat. This is where the emperor would like sit, right here. Oh, really? This. At least that's what Rick Steve says. Fancy. Honestly, when I come to places like this, that are just like thousands of years old, you know, it's like 1,900 years old or something. I get like a little bit emotional <laughs> just thinking like that, that it has been around like people from generations and generations ago have been here and that like just so many people have seen this and been here and the way it was, I don't know, I, I lose, there's like no words for it. If you've traveled you know what I mean. When you see these places it's just like so inspiring, so, so amazing. When it's forever. Like my fingernails. So yeah, they're kind of big. Show me what they what they ate. They ate pears. Do you like pears? Yes, I like pears and fishies. Fishies, and this is a fig. How many? Stories. How many stories does the Colosseum have? Four. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another one. Very, very good. <laughs> Sunny, so sunny, and we've been waiting for our bus. We, we have a bus pass and a train pass, so we just take the city uh, transportation everywhere. We're waiting for this bus for 20 minutes now. The kids are being so good just sitting and waiting, but I don't know if we can wait any longer for this bus. It's just 
it's turning into hopelessness, so we might just walk it. We're trying to get to the Villa Borghese Gardens, um, which are supposed to be really great. So we might just have to walk it. We gave ourselves a three minute wait time. If the bus doesn't come by then, we're gonna do it. We're just gonna walk. Okay guys, that was super crazy. We waited and waited for that bus and then we said, you know what, we can't wait forever. We seriously can't. The sun is too hot on us. So we left. We started walking because it's just a 20 minute walk. And uh, yeah, you guys guessed it. It came right when we left. Luckily we were only, you know, a little ways down the road so we actually ran back and got on the bus. And it was a good thing to do because it would have been a really hard walk. So now we're a little happier. Little breeze going on, getting our nature on now after being in the city for a couple days and hopefully we can get some energy back and see some more things tonight. We're really hoping to be able to see Vatican Museum tonight, but I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be able to with the kids, guys. I just, I hope so, but maybe not. We'll let you know. See ya. Go that way, teleported. What is it? Sorry, Porter, just hold on to me, okay? Okay, that was really crazy. I don't even know. We were sad because we hadn't seen the Sistine Chapel and it's our last day and we just didn't know, I don't know, we thought maybe you had to book tickets way ahead of time but we are like, you know what, it closes. The last people they let in is in an hour. So we're like, let's just go, we'll just see if we can buy some tickets and we'll just, we'll just see. So we get on the bus, we come here, we walk right in, there's no line because it's like right, it's like we get here at like, we get right in, we get tickets right before, it's totally cool. There's like no crowds. We walk pretty much right through the whole museum and it's like awesome. It was the best. We just couldn't believe we actually got through. We got, we got, we walked all the way through. You have to go all through all these hallways and upstairs and downstairs to get to the Sistine Chapel. We get there, we see it, we listen to our audio guide check it off our bucket list and get out of there. It was amazing and the kids were so good. Bo just walked around and then I strapped him in here. And now we're heading into the Basilica. That's a win, Rome. Thank you. We're all set, let's go. Wait, my water bottle or my soda? Your water bottle. Oh, that's so weird. I, it just clicks open and it just goes. <laughs> weird. I'm like, I'm like, you want, you want, want me to come see where I spilled it? Where